when I mention posture, a lot of people look at it from a vanity standpoint. That good posture, that's how you look good. And that's true, but posture is actually a good indicator of how healthy you are. Posture is how you're holding your body in space. Now, I'd like for you to think of posture like your framework of your house. You want it to be straight and strong because it's the posture, it's your skeletal system and your muscular system that house and protect the nervous system, again, your brain and spinal cord. And if there's any type of imbalances with the posture, it's impacting your nervous system, which means that the way that your brain is communicating with the rest of your body is being interfered with. So let's go over what good posture looks like. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to analyze your own posture or that of your family members and friends. When analyzing your own posture, you want to look at yourself in a full length mirror. So first thing we're going to do is have you march in place. Great. And then you stop. You're going to turn your head to one side and then to the other and then look straight ahead. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your feet. So if you're analyzing your own posture and you're in front of a full length mirror, you just want to move your eyes. When looking at your feet, you want to see if both feet are facing forward. Or are your feet turning in or out? Is one foot possibly going this way or the other coming in like this? The next thing that you want to do when analyzing your posture is that you want to look at your knees. Your knees should be facing forward. So look at your knees and see if they're facing forward or are they turning in or maybe are they bowing out. The next thing we look at when analyzing posture are your hips. We want to make sure that your hips are level. Are your hips level or is one hip higher than the other or could you possibly be rotating forward on one side? The next way that we look at your posture is through your shoulders. Are your shoulders nice and even? Is one shoulder higher than the other? or are you rotated forward? And the last thing that we look at when analyzing your posture from the front is what is your neck doing in relationship to your head? Is your neck on an angle or is it nice and straight? Your chin should be over your breastbone. How does your head look? Is one ear higher than the other or are you rotated forward? Ears should be level and you, there should be no rotation in your head at all. So that's how we look at posture from the front. Any postural imbalances can lead to distress in the body and cause subluxation, pressure on the nervous system. So the next way that we're going to analyze your posture is from the side. So you're going to turn to the side and then what you're going to do is you're going to march in place and stop. Then you're going to turn your head to one side and then to the other. You want to see if the ear is over the bony portion of the shoulder. And then your bony portion of the shoulder should be in alignment with the seam of your pants. If it's all in alignment, that's great posture. A lot of times what we're seeing now is that people are having forward head posture like this. And that's not good. For every inch that your ear is past the bony portion of your shoulder, it's an extra 10 pounds of gravity coming down on you. Now we used to see postures like this in older individuals. Now we're seeing it more so in younger people. And a lot of that has to do with things like weight of backpacks, which we'll talk about later, as well as improper posture at the computer, which we'll talk about in the future as well.